Welcome to Threaded South. My name is Ashley and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a 3D chrome text effect. Now this text effect is inspired by Drake's Honestly Nevermind album, but I'm going to revamp it a bit and do my own personal take on the artwork. Also, this will be available for free. The link will be in the description on my Gumroad account, so if you feel as though I don't want to follow this tutorial. I just want the files. Go ahead. The link is in my description. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button so that you will be notified of all new videos that I drop. Let's jump right in. The first thing you want to do is create a new document. Make your document 12 by 10 with a resolution of 300, give your document a name and click on create. Fill the background with a solid black color. Grab the type tool and type out honestly, never mind. Using the font that is linked in the description, Change the height of this to 130% and the size will be 150 and the letting will be 173. Warp your text and select arch. And place it in the center of your document. Right click and convert your text layer to a smart object and duplicate it. Leave the second layer for later. Just go ahead and make it invisible for now. So on the first layer, we're gonna apply some layer styles. First, we're gonna start with bevel and emboss. Change the technique to chisel saw. The depth will be 100%, the size will be 57. Soften will be 13. Gloss contour will be this second one that I'm selecting in the second row. The opacity will be 78%. Change the color to 181718. And now we're going to go to contour and select this one. Now go to stroke and change the color to 5CAFFC. And change the size to five change the position to outside and the opacity to 54 percent now select inner shadow and change the color to f a f a f a change the blend mode to color dodge the opacity will be 49 percent the distance will be 15 pixels Size will be 62 and change the contour to this one that I am selecting. Now select on inner glow. Change the color to D9 DD DD. Change the blend mode to color dodge. The opacity 100%. Change the size to 18 pixels. And now let's go to satin. Change the color to 8B8989. Change the blend mode to subtract. The opacity will remain at 50%. The distance will be 50 pixels and the size will be 79 pixels. And change the contour to the second one. Now go to gradient overlay and change the colors to the following. For the first stop, change the color to A2, A2, A1. For the second stop, change it to F0, F0, F0. And we're gonna repeat these colors 
again. So I'm just selecting the stop so that it, once I click on a new space, that same previous color that I selected will appear there. So I'm going to gray to white, gray, white, gray, white. And click on OK. Now select Outer Glow and change the blend mode to Hard Light. And we're going to use the gradient, but change before you do that, change the opacity to 38%. So for this gradient, we're going to start with the first color and it is 25C3BA. For the second stop will be E46267. For the third color, 7FB6DF. For the next color, we will select D5D9B8. And for the final color, we will select 6F5889. Now let's add a drop shadow. Well, before we add a drop shadow, change the size to 46 pixels. And for the contour, select this one and change the range to 82%. And then click on drop shadow, change the color to black. The opacity will be 82%. Our angle will be 120. The distance will be 50, the spread will be 20, the size will be 95. And now this is how your font should look. Now we're going to place this first layer in a group and rename it. Now turn on your second layer and move it downward a, a bit. and double click this layer and we're gonna add some layer style starting with bevel and emboss. For the angle, change it to 90 degrees. And for, the, for multiply, we will keep it as is. And then select on contour and select this one. Now click on inner shadow and change the color to FA, FA, FA. The opacity should be 100%. The distance should be 15, choke zero, size 62. And then select this one for contour. And then for inner glow, we're gonna change the color to A8, FB, F1. Change the blend mode to difference. And for our contour, change it to this one that I'm selecting in the second row. Now we're gonna add a gradient overlay. Change the gradient to the following. For the first color, E9, A5, A5. For the second color, B8, C1, C0. For the third color, 6, 5, C0, E0. For the fourth color, A, E, A, 2 db and for the last color 81 c 1 d 9 and click ok 
and change the angle to zero. Now, go to Image Blur Gaussian Blur and change the radius to 30. Open up your melting ice image and drag it over into your document. Resize it so that it fits over your text. And also rename the layer as well. Create a clipping mask by right clicking and create clipping mask and change the blend mode to vivid light and the opacity to 50%. Now we're going to add a little bit of a, a warm texture. So open up the lava image and place it over your text as well. Resize it and rename the layer. Right click create clipping mask and change the blend mode to dissolve with an opacity of 10%. And that is how you create a 3D chrome text effect. If you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already so that you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. Also, if you want to grab some merch, head on over to threadedsouth.com. Thank you for watching.